Yo, what is going on guys? It's Seabra bringing y'all another MLB The Show 19 card review. Today we're going to be going over 96 overall Signature Series Hanley Ramirez. This card is part of the mid-tier of the Signature Series packs. So you can open those packs and hope for the 1 out of 4 chance. Or you can buy this card off the marketplace. He's currently selling for around 45 k So with that, we'll get right into the review. This card was pretty good for me. A um, couple things that disappointed me about this card, one is the power. I did not hit for a lot of power at all with this card. I only hit two home runs and 54 plate appearances, which is not nearly enough for a card that should hit more than that given his attributes. Um, he also played pretty poorly for me in the field. I did have him at third base, which is a secondary, so his fielding was in the 60s, so that could have something to do with it. but. Still, his fielding rating is not why you would pick up this card. This card is definitely uh, more of the hitter type. So, um, a couple positives about this card. The 92 vision didn't seem to hurt him at all. It was still pretty easy to have high exit velos if you put the bat on the ball, which is good. You always want to see that. Additionally, the 91 speed helps a lot, and it did seem like for some reason he was maybe a little bit faster than 91 speed. Um, especially on balls in the gap, I got a couple triples that probably should have been doubles. So, uh, as far as getting it done at the plate, this card's pretty good. Maybe a leadoff or two hole hitter, but don't expect a lot of home runs out of him, um, and don't expect really good defense out of him either. But definitely a decent card, I would say. If you're looking for a shortstop and you don't like Cal or Ozzy Smith, this is probably your next best option. So. Um, and as far as a bench bat, I probably wouldn't put him on my bench just because he's right-handed, but he could get it done as a pinch hitter for you for sure. So, As always, we'll rate the card how it rates in the meta, and we'll rate him compared to how much he costs. So how he rates in the meta, I give him a B. Um, definitely better options at the shortstop and third base and first base and left field. <laughs> but this card is not bad by any means. And as far as how much he costs, I'll give him a B minus because 45k is probably a little too much for this card, so that kind of knocks him down a little bit. So I hope you all enjoyed this card review. Drop a like on the video for me, it helps the channel out a lot. Leave a comment down below if you want me to review any player specifically. Enjoy the clips after this, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.